Brazil emerging for this crucial group game here, the tournament still in its relative infancy. But it is already developing into quite a spectacle, and that, of course, is what you expect from this, the greatest of all the tournaments. It has been terrific stuff so far, so let us hope that the trend continues here and now. Certainly this is an arena which will satisfy those who enjoy their architectural design and style. The Allianz Parquet here in Sao Paulo. We have already started here. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Alisson. He's an excellent shot stopper, Peter, first and foremost. But he's just as good at creating chances as he is snuffing them out. He can spread the ball out quickly to both wings, whether it be with an accurate long pass or a quick throw, and that places him in the top order of the world's keepers. And he's getting the best out of him, will count for so much. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. That's great strength on the ball. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Cleared away. That's a throw. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Gets good distance on it. It'll be a throw in. Lovely bit of skill there. alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Costa Rica have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? And it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Finds himself eased off the ball. Hoists it forward, out to the right. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Malcolm. Romario. And now they can launch a counter. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, he did the hard part right, but not the finish. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Forward it goes. Battles to win it back. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Zico. Dinks one in. Forward it goes. There's the whistle for half time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The great move did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. Already up and running for the second half. It seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Tries to dink it in. Cafu. Now by a goal, needing to go up and goes for it! it away, tries to get it forward quickly, plays it out to the wing, 
Tries to get it clear. Tries lifting it over. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Brazil have it back, and they can go again. Has he found his man? So, Jim, what are you thinking? Brazil has a goal! Appearance and very necessary. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. It's come through. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Costa Rica making consecutive changes here. out on the left now Marquinhos sticks in a foot to win it back hoists it forward balls loose who's getting there Peter they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver Marquinhos tries to switch the play A leveller or the knockout blow. Either way, it's got to happen right away. At least they're going about it as they should, having brought this on themselves. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Costa Rica probably heads it! He will be livid with himself. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Cafu, Brazil have reached the now-or-never stage. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. And that will be the final act. Defeat with a smile. In the end, this result eclipsed by the knowledge that they have won the group. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? That's a fairly demoralising loss. They hardly threaten in this visit.
Well, all observers are agreed on this. It is the point where the competition gets really serious. Top teams now fielding their best available lineups in front of big, big crowds. A lot of noise, great expectation, and the sense that the possibility of silverware is at hand. This is a big chance. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. So this is where we're up to in the quarterfinals. Already plenty enough to get the juices flowing. All the eight sides still left here are perfectly entitled to think they have a good shot at this, Peter. It is quite an atmosphere here, and that's clearly raised the bar in terms of expectations from the crowd. They genuinely think, or certainly the feel is, that they'll get to see the game of the tournament. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Casemiro. He gives them some real defensive steel in the middle of the park, Peter. What he's particularly good at is nipping opposition attacks in the bud and preventing them from getting any real momentum going. He's also a bit of a shooting threat from long range too, so opposing defences will have to beware of that, and very much so. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Shoots! A real chance and a real let-off. Mexico know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. He's got options out wide. Oh, real danger here. In towards the middle. Cleared away. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets the better of his man. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Brazil get it back again. Plays it out to the flank. Breaks on here. Aimed in towards the centre. Knocks it away. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. it forward it a move that looked promising but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm Lozano it's the set one up over to the left Lozano Looking for a decent ball in. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Guardado played out to the right. Nicely controlled. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Zico. Casemiro, looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Raul, Lozano, looks to clip it forward. 
And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Still waiting for the first goal. Just brushed off the ball there. Good ball. There are a few waiting for it. Nice to get it away. Oh, smart save. They can break here. Guardado. Lozano pings it out wide. Swept in. And that should be the keepers. The three's had a look. He's blown his whistle for half time. So now the team has broken through. It's not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So, first half thoughts? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. Brazil head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Well, the team any further forward than they were when they started out. So we're already into the second period. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been safe for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and... Fila! Well, oh, that is rather wayward. challenge no complaints about that challenge robust but fair done very well to intervene Cafu could move up a gear here shade too heavy keeper can pick that up And it's played forward, and it's got through. What a throw in. Goes for the cross. And that has been cleared. Hoists it forward. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. A real chance to break. He gets past his man. Has a goal! And oh! Yes! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Mexico take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. The referee's awarded a free kick. Sit high. Forward it goes. Here it comes. 
going through. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Vela. And it's Cortado. And here's Ra Raul! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Raul Jimenez really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. A swift reaction then, and the boss opting to reshuffle his defence. Yeah, and that's not... Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Casemiro gets his final warning. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. And he just whacks it away. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Guardado. Your impression so far, Jim? Brazil are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. And there's a long ball. He's got away. A really good feat from him. Tries to get it clear. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible. Looking to hit the front line. Too long, and over the line. So not long left in this now. Brazil are on the point of first round elimination. Casemiro drives it forward. Looking to break out here. It's on a plate, has a pop! It's in! There was to be only one outcome. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a hoop links first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. Brazil grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. And that's sprayed out wide. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Final seconds, this has to be it. It's a great goes for goal! It's off target and by quite a way.
This could spell danger. Marquinhos can hoist it clear. Dashing forward at pace. What a ball this has turned out to be. Keeper's got good distance on that. And that's it. Nothing to separate them. It is penalties. Yeah, and it's been a contest between two sides that were evenly matched on the day. Neither deserves to be on the losing side. And it will be decided by the melodrama of penalties. Real tension here, then, as the first man readies himself. So, the first penalty. And he's found the net. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. No, it's been saved! That's a lovely stop from the keeper, he's done his teammates proud with that one. And the keeper's come up trumps! Well, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. I oh, saved it. He was so focused there. Fantastic save. Brazil with the chance to go two up. Oh, he's hit it over. It's a technical no-no. He got underneath it. The third man in the queue. Keeper's read that beautifully. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. This to put them two up. No, he hasn't scored. Oh, that's so unlucky to hit the goal frame. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Oh, what a save! I think the keeper's done really well to save that, and he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. This then to seal it. He's buried it, and he's won it! So now do you believe? You have to. Just two more steps to glory. Which has summarised what we've seen today then, Jim. Very nicely negotiated. Not perfect, but it's all about moving on and mission accomplished.
Well, welcome to you and to our coverage of semi-final day. It has to be said we have uh, an atmosphere here that is really buzzing. Both teams terrifically well represented, fans hopeful, expectant. As well they might be, there is no shortage of belief on either side that it will be their team. Luis Suarez! It's in! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Uruguay take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Luis Suarez. Breaks on here. Roberto Carlos. There's a long ball. Neymar. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Suarez with a good steal, well played. Goes direct to the front line. Plays it out to the wing. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Malcolm. That was good pressing. Forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Hit long and direct. Marquinhos tries to clear. Roberto Carlos. It's got through to him. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Tries lifting it over. And that's been levered clear. It has gone out. Gets up to hit it! Tries to get it forward quickly. Cuts it out. Zico. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Well positioned to make that interception. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Decent ball. Hoists it high. Has a goal! Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. Oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. It's come through. Chance! In for the pieces. They scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Allison reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. So that's two now without reply.
That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. And for a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Marquinhos. Hoists it forward, and it's got through. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Suarez gets into a dangerous position. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Valverde. Goes long. He's made sure that that won't get through. Could move up a gear here. And the semi final reaches halfway. That's the first half compared with your expectation. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position. So why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Sico! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And it's played forward. And the through ball is intercepted. Good idea, just poorly executed. Luis Suarez lobs it in gently, dinked in. And well played, he saw that coming. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Uruguay just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. It's got through, and... And it's hoisted clear. Oh, needed a better pass there. Jimenez proves too strong there. Jimenez goes looking. Suarez desperately wants to get on the end of this. Just brushed off the ball there. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Casemiro back to the keeper and go again. Uruguay really are almost trying to pass the ball through a brick wall at the moment. You can see the sense of anxiety has, has now shifted to the stands. Knocks it away. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And he just whacks it away. Valverde tries to stroke it. He's gone for it! They are rampant! And they are cruising away! A oh, high quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Brazil have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. 
Valverde. Forlan. Tico. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Casemiro plays it forward. Hoists it forward. And here's Suarez. It has gone through to him. Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. Forward it goes. And it's Luis Suarez. And he's there to hoof it away. Deftly done. Played into space out wide. Cut out in the nick of time. Gets it back. Brazil get it back again. Dinks one in. Questions were asked. And he's given the answers. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Marquinhos with the crossfield ball. Almost nothing left on the clock here. They have one foot in the final. A heavy challenge. Looking to hit the front line. And Uruguay could counter here. Is on the back foot. And it's played forward. Hoists it high. Can he... Oh, real danger here. Out to the right. In again. Cleared away. Brazil are oh. Brazil now out in the semi-final, so close, what might have been such cause for regret. It'll take a while to get over this. Your reflections then, Jim. Listen, I can tell you that losing the final is not as bad as the semi-final because at least you get the sample.